Hello friends, in previous lecture, we have studied examples by using left hand derivative, right hand derivative, so to show that the given function is not differentiable at a particular point. Now, in this lecture, we will study algebra of differentiable function, algebra of differentiable function. In previous lecture, I have given these two exercises. Let fx equal to x into cos 1 by x, x not equal to 0, f0 zero is 0, so that f is differentiable at x is 0. And uh, if fx is x square into cos of 1 by x, x not equal to 0, f of 0 is 0, so that f dot 0 is 0. So I am giving those examples only for your revision of sequential limit, sequential continuity theorem. With help of that, it becomes easy to show that f is not differentiable at x equal to 0. You have to use sequential limit concept. And only for sequential limit, sequential continuity, we have introduced the sequence chapter at f i level. Okay. And uh, just uh, by using limit and tends to infinity of 1 by n approaches to 0, with help of that we are constructing their multiple sequences, scalar multiple sequences which approaches to 0, so that their image does not converge to uh, same point. And that uh, negation of sequential continuity, sequential limit we are using there. Okay, so now we'll take the algebra of differentiable functions. Okay, If f and g are differentiable functions, are differentiable functions at c, then one f plus g is differentiable at c. Differentiable at C and F plus G dash at C is equal to F dash C plus G dash C. Okay. Similarly, for minus, we will get minus there. Second, for K belongs to R, whatever K may be, KF is the differentiable at C and Kf dash C is equal to K into F dash C. Third, Fg product of that two function is differentiable at C and Fg dash C is equal to f of c into g dash c plus f dash c into g of c. Fourth, f upon g is differentiable at c and f by g dash c is equal to g of c into f dash c minus f of c into g dash c upon g of c bracket square g of c must be non zero g of c must be non zero so addition of two differentiable function is differentiable scalar multiple of differentiable function is differentiable product of two differentiable function is differentiable Quotient of two differentiable function is differentiable provided g of c not equal to 0. So we will prove those results one by one. Okay. 
सुप्रूप सो फर्स्ट सिंस एफ जी आर डिफ्रेंसिबल एट सी देर फॉर एफ डैश सी इज इक्वल टू लिमिट एक्सटेंस टू सी ऑफ एफ एक्स माइनस एफ सी अपॉन एक्स माइनस सी एक्सिस्ट एंड जे डैश सी इज इक्वल टू लिमिट एक्सटेंस टू सी ऑफ जी एक्स माइनस जी ऑफ सी अपॉन एक्स माइनस सी एक्सिस्ट ओके नाउ वेट टू शो दैट एफ प्लस जी डैश सी एक्जस्ट ओके नाउ लिमिट एक्सटेंस टू सी ऑफ एफ प्लस जी ऑफ एक्स माइनस एफ प्लस जी ऑफ सी अपॉन एक्स माइनस सी इज इक्वल टू If I use minus here also, I will get this is equal to limit extends to C of f x minus f c plus minus g x minus g of c, right? So if there is minus. By taking minus sign outside from g x, I am getting minus here upon x minus c, right? Which is equal to limit extends to c of f x minus f c divided by x minus c plus minus limit extends to c of g x minus g of c. upon x minus c and this is one which is equal to f dash c plus g dash c exist by one and therefore f plus minus g is differentiable at c and y plus g dash c is equal to y dash plus y dash c plus minus g dash c is it clear so this is a simple proof for it on same line we have to just make adjustment for other okay second one we have to show that k f is differentiable at c second since f is differentiable at c therefore f dash c is equal to limit extends to c of fx minus f fc upon x minus c exist this is one thing right what is your claim k f is differentiable at c and k f dash c is equal to k into k f dash c so for this limit extends to c of so for k f dash c i have to take k f x Minus k f c upon x minus c is equal to. I have to show that k f is differentiable at c. So I am taking k f x minus k f c, which is equal to limit x tends to c of. By definition of scalar multiple function, this is k into f x minus k f of c upon x minus c. And then I can take k outside throughout. k into limit extends to c of f x minus f c 
upon x minus c which is equal to k into f dash c exist by 1 and therefore kf is differentiable at c kf is differentiable at c for any k belongs to r right differentiable at c and kf dash c is equal to k into f dash c k into f dash c is it clear now third one we have given f and g are differentiable what is your claim we have to show that if f and g are differentiable at c then f g differentiable at c what is your claim f into g is differentiable at c and f g dash derivative of f g at c is equal to f, f dash c into g of c plus f of c into g dash c. Okay. So, for this limit extends to c of f g of x minus f g of c upon x minus c is equal to limit extends to c of f x into g x minus f c into g of c upon x minus c. Now what we will do here, I will add and subtract, subtract and add. Function term, function expression into value of other function at c. Okay. So, uh, we will add, subtract and add, say minus f x g of c. Or if I take uh, g of c, f of c into g of c, does not matter? Yes, f x plus g x into g x into g of c minus f c g of c. So, there is no any change. This step is important here. This step is important. And then we will take fx outside from first two terms and uh, plus g of c outside from next two terms gx minus g of c. upon x minus c and then we will apply limit separately. Which is equal to limit extends to c of fx into gx minus g of c upon x minus c plus g of c I can take outside into limit extends to c of gx minus gc upon x minus c. As x approaches to c, f of x approaches to f of c because f is defined at c f is defined at c okay. into g dash c plus g of c into g dash c by 1 and 
if it's uh, differentiable at C, implies if it's continuous at C, and hence FC defined, FC exists. So, we will extend to C of Fx. Hence, limit extends to C of fx is equal to f of C exists by continuity that exists. Okay. This exists. Okay. This implies fg is a differentiable at C and fg dash C is equal to f of c into g dash c plus f dash c into g of c d by dx of u v is equal to u into dv by dx plus v into dv by dx at c. So, thus we have proved this rule on same line for quotient you can prove the result, you can prove the result, okay. So now last one, is it clear? Now claim f by g fourth f over g is differentiable at c and f over g at c is equal to g of c into f dash c plus minus f c into g dash c upon g of c bracket square g of c not equal to 0 okay so for this limit extends to c of f by g of x minus f by g of c upon x minus c is equal to limit extends to c of fx upon gx minus fc upon g of c upon x minus c which is equal to limit extends to c of g of c into fx minus gx into f of c upon x minus c into gx into g of c. So, this is to say. Now, since G is differentiable at C and hence continuous at C implies GX G of C and G of C not equal to 0 implies GX must not equal to 0 in some neighborhood of C. Say C minus delta to C plus delta. So, in some neighborhood, G of x not equal to 0 for all x, and that's why this is well defined. Okay. And therefore, limit extends to C of f by g of x minus f by g at c upon x minus c. I can write this as. <coughs> Uh, 
I will take the, the 1 upon j of say outside also into limit extends to say of here I will uh, add and subtract f of c into j of c term ok is equal to limit extends to c of uh, gx fx minus gx f of c into fc g of c plus fc into g of c minus gx fc upon x minus c into gx into g of c which is equal to 1 upon g of c into limit extends to c of 1 upon g x into limit extends to c of from this I will take f of c outside into g x minus g of c upon x minus c minus from this I will take your minus f c outside so from first uh, which term uh, f c is taken outside and uh, sorry uh, g x f c is taken out g x minus g of c right and uh, here if I take minus g x outside g g x into f of c f x into g of c gx into f of c f c g c is added and subtracted so if i take f c outside i will get gx minus g c that is g dash c and uh, from that how can i want g of c here Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. This is your G of C here and Fx. So, I will take G of C outside here. Fx minus Fc, right, minus. From this, I will take Fc outside. In bracket, Gx minus Gc upon X minus C. Now, if I apply limit, I will get 1 upon g of c into 1 upon g of c my in bracket. What is this? g of c into f dash c minus f c into g dash c by 1. Right, which is equal to which is equal to G of C into F dash C minus F of C into G dash C upon g of c bracket square exist and therefore f over g is differentiable at c and f over g at 
डैश सी इज इक्वल टू जे ऑफ सी इंटू एफ डैश सी माइनस एफ ऑफ सी इंटू जे डैश सी अपॉन जे ऑफ सी ब्लैक स्क्वायर डिवाइ डेक्स ऑफ यू बाई फी इज इक्वल टू फी इंटू डेलिट ऑफ यू माइनस यू इंटू डेलिट ऑफ फी अपॉन फी स्क्वायर डेट विल बी अप्रूव्ड एट ए पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट सो विद दिस डिस्कशन विल स्टॉप आवर सेशन हियर थैंक्स फॉर लिसनिंग लेक्चर केयरफुली बाय बाय